Hello there, one and all. I am Paul Kelly, and this is Spoiled. We have some very special people here tonight. All of you are special. <laughs> you too, buddy. Uh, you special. too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, um, to my right, we have... Brad. My main Brad. Gordon. Michael. It's Tim. <laughs> He's about to say Star Lord. Star Lord. Star -Lord. Star -Lord. Star -Lord. So it's Tim. We like it to call Tim. him Timothy. It's Tim. So if it's nowhere near Star Lord. Timothy, I'm talking about Tim. Star Lord. That's right. I'm talking We're about Star Lord. Star -Lord. Star -Lord. Yeah. <laughs> um, when he was like Lord Star. We all just we all just watched uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. So we did look at that. All our we definitely did. Mm -hmm. Um. So um, let's get into it. I mean. We'll start here from the right, like we usually do. Um, Mr. Bradley, sir, um, what are your thoughts on the Turtles? I, I'm a little bit divided, honestly. Okay. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't as good as I was hoping or as bad as I was expecting. I guess that's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah, don't, mean, yeah. You don't explain anything. Yeah. Right yeah, so by saying nothing, I, I, exactly. I, I, <laughs> it's like he didn't say anything. anything. Yeah. He says nothing. <laughs> does, that he, mean, does that mean that? <laughs> does he exist? The saying nothing I feel like he means exist. something. Well, I know, Brad. Wait, wait. So I mean, I feel the Ninja Turtles were pretty cool, but I feel like everything else was not so good. So. So you like the turtles? Yes. But that's well, it. That's, you know, the movie is all about it. the turtles, pretty much. Was it? Uh, was it? Yeah. Gordon, well, Mac, what'd you, what'd you think about the movie? I, I actually liked it. I thought it was all right. I, uh, I mean, I even said it before we went in. I was just like, there's going to be plot holes. And then there's... Uh, Facts. Gonna, there's there's going to be plot holes. But they're going to fight a lot, and it's going to be funny. And they fought a lot, and it was kind of funny. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and... I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> cool. Grand, but uh, I'm mixed on this because so I didn't. Divided. Yeah, dude. Like, oh, I'm I mean, not. I. I mean, <laughs> you get your turn, Star Lord. The, there were there were parts where I was like, okay, you know, like this is funny, and then there's a lot of parts where I was just like, man, I feel like they had copyright problems or something, and they're just not allowed to say a lot. And I just felt like parts of it, I was just like, oh, they they're yeah, like oh, are they saying that this is in the future after the old turtles, or is this before, like when they meet, like they feel like they meshed stories yeah. together. Oh, they, they definitely did that. Oh, is it my turn? Oh, now? yes, yes, Tim. Uh, uh, go ahead. What do you think about this movie? <laughs> I thought that movie could have been summed up in about twenty minutes. Some really cool turtle fighting because that movie was garbage, guys. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> it's a garbage. I thought, garbage. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you were right. There's some garbage. funny parts, some hilarious parts, but the best parts of that movie could have been a twenty-minute episode on TV. Yeah. Um, and, and let's all face it, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV show was amazing. Oh, yeah, it was great. Fantastic. That's, fantastic. Fact. That's yeah. fact. It's science. Yeah, it's just science. <laughs> At least I had those with you. All right, so so quick, quick, quick. One through ten, go. Six. Six. Seven. Five point five. Deuce. Ooh. Oh, I didn't say what I. Yeah, it doesn't thought matter. thought about the movie. It doesn't matter. What <laughs> I thought it was all right. I mean, it definitely had sucky moments. And, sucky. and you, see, you see how I censored myself. <laughs> um, but... Had some funny moments. Michelangelo was hilarious. Yeah. I do that. Michelangelo was good. Absolutely. Um, yeah. you know, he was the best part. But let's uh, let's give it about. Okay, so he can't really, be Germany. He's no, already it's, Germany. It's really a five. <laughs> oh yeah. It's really a five. But because it's the turtles and knowing my love for the turtles, man, it was like a seven. That's why I made mine 5.5, 5, was yeah, because yeah. of the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> I think you guys are just giving it too much credit. But hey, but hey, everybody's entitled to an opinion. No, I mean, it sucked. It sucked. <laughs> the movie sucked, don't get me wrong. Well, the see, movie, that's... The I kinda, movie sucked. I, but it was the Ninja Turtles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I kind of did what you you did there, PK. I, the basically, sucked. the turtles were a nine. The rest of the movie was a three. So I gave it a six. I split the difference. Split the difference. Yeah. And I did love the turtles. I loved the turtles. I thought they were great. I mean, but I've seen a movie around it too. If you're just sitting there, have me sit there for two. Oh yeah, I hear you. Yeah, no, I. Story. I feel that that movie was made for kids who are like eight, nine now, who yeah. know nothing about the turtles. Like our age, you know, twenty five up. We yeah, no one from our generation is gonna like yeah. that. So it's not made for us. No, no, not at all. Y'all sound like old people, man. <laughs> <laughs> old people. 
I can't believe we're getting into this. Hey. It's not exactly like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back in 1991. Y'all are killing me. Times have changed. <laughs> you got Juicy J on songs. It, it was worse. I, mean, I got it. I got what they were doing. Reference. First of all, they made it. They made it so April O'Neil is the main character, which yeah, is which is different. It. Which is different from the original one. And Completely. so, so played by, play by Miss Megan Fox. Yeah, yeah, Miss Megan Fox. Well, Megan Fox is not some great actress, but you know, you can look at her and you'll be like, all right, okay, fine. Whatever. Actually, we, like we, we knew actually, what we my were notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> actually, I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, so I thought, it, I thought the pace of the movie was good. They didn't, they didn't, they had, they gave you the first 10, 15 minutes without the turtles, and then they gave you the turtles and the turtles and the turtles, and they just, they didn't try to. They didn't try to sneak around and let the turtles act or anything like that. They just had them flip around the whole movie. Uh, you know, I don't know. It was for now. It wasn't for back then. So uh, and I'm not. I'm not judging it by the old the old movies. You know. So you're taking you're taking to take take a character that, and you know you gotta understand it's hard to do taking a character that we grew up with, characters right. we grew up with, and trying to say okay, well I'm gonna look at it totally for new new light. No matter what happens, oh you gosh, have some kind of you're, bias. You're about to make him start talking about Marvel. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do well, that. Well, you do don't that. have to go Marvel. We could say the new Batman movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You don't talk about DC. Oh, but no, but just, just, just <laughs> Batman specifically, the new ones. They took, I mean, a set of movies, and they made it, almost in my opinion, better than what we've had before. But and so, because they, I think they, they thought about the story first and then the effects later. Exactly. And yeah. this is the kind of exactly. movie where it was effects first and then they grapple whatever kind you of story guys, on they you could. You guys don't understand. But the story of Batman, the story of Super, those stories by themselves are, are great way stories. better. It's yeah. hard to mess those stories <laughs> up. You got, you've got Darkness. turtles. Ooze and then ninja stuff. Preach. That's what you got. That is what you have. Make something. You know. What I'm all right, all right. We're gonna see what but we they, can do. They have way more though than just that. Like everybody's known. Yeah. I, there's a every, brotherhood. Every, I mean, comic books, yeah. movies, TV shows, even every single one of them explain that accidents happen. Like the ooze fell down in the sewer, opened up. That's how turtles. Not they Listen. weren't someone's pets. No, but you said I was saying. But the, the reason pets. why they did the pets. <laughs> listen, listen. This is why they do the pets. This is exactly. So bring, I mean, them, bring them in. It, they, well, yeah. yeah, it's because you, you to give because you only have an hour and however to establish a connection between April and the turtles. The yeah. thing that was wrong with the original Ninja Turtles that we just that we just never really we just never cared about was April's, turtles. April's connection <laughs> with her connection with the turtles and which is it just kind of comes from nowhere you have no idea where it well comes from. she it's, gets rescued she gets yeah, rescued that's, but she gets rescued what's, what's, what they kind of tried to do here and that that's another thing we could talk about real quick is, yeah, we don't get into the spoiler part ha, 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 no, oh dude. hey boom 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 spoiler alert spoiler oh, alert oh, the can, I get, can i get boom. the sound effect yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know <laughs> Spoiler alert. Let's sound. talk about quick how they tried to tie in so many, not just, I'm not even talking about old Ninja Turtle comic book references. I'm just talking about the the last movies that were made. Yeah. They tried to tie in so many things from all those movies to try to make this one, to almost get a cosign from them. Yeah. Hey, 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 we're this is a cool use... movie. This is a cool movie. We well, got these. What parts? What parts are you talking about? I mean, hell, the big antenna scene that was like. Spider Man. Well, no, 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 no. no, I'm talking about the from the old movie. No, no, oh, okay, the old okay, movie. specifically. Oh, okay, the, the sewer so, fight. Yeah, sewer fight, great. But but also how they were when they were growing up and showing showing how they were teen, teenagers and yeah. different things that they like to do. The whole cowabunga thing. Um, that was the, about, um the pizza slice falling on, on his on thing. That was very... Uh, yeah. I, I also think... The trainings, when they're on the chairs and stuff like that, that was in the cartoon, too. Yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, so... it Even they, the, they tried to go back and forth, and they didn't... It mesh didn't, well. It didn't blend well, because they tried to do something brand new, but still keep the old, you know? Yeah. And Even just, the part where Raphael, like, climbs out of the rubble, he sticks his hand out first, and that's totally from the end of the second movie, oh, oh, The Shredder, Shredder, where he's like, yeah. Yeah. and sticks his hand up out of yeah, the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was totally a reference to every, that. Every rooftop fighting, uh, fighting yeah, scene, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, which, in, in, a way, in a way, some what they were attempting to do was good, and it could have been really great. Way better. Um, but... <laughs> They wanted to go with this brand new, like, especially how you said, 
April O'Neil was the star of this movie. She it wasn't really the, even the turtles. It was yeah. all about her becoming, you know, uh, getting, they should change the title hero, of the movie. Becoming a hero and, and a, a good reporter and yeah. all this and whatnot. I becoming mean, their sister, like you yeah, the reference yeah, at yeah. the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but she's a good reporter who never apparently reports a crime to the police. Uh-huh. Have you, how many times uh-huh. in this situation in that movie where she's going to go try to take pictures when she could call the cops, then go try to take pictures, which is dumb anyway, but she doesn't even try to call the cops. Ridiculous. She doesn't want to get scooped by the police. <laughs> yes. yeah. I mean, she's the most competitive way, uh, reporter ever. Reporters don't call the police. The reporters, they should if they're seeing a crime the, in the progress. Reporters, the reporters don't call the police. She called, she called, she called when she was in the, what you call They want to break the news first. Yeah, they break the news. They break the news, then they call the police. Oh. Okay, well, I just think it's an ass backwards way of doing things. I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying to remember a part, I'm just trying to part, remember a part of the old Ninja Turtle movies where April called the police. I can't recall what That's what I'm time. saying. Okay, she never does. Though. Yeah, I'm just, now, saying. I'm just saying. I think it's a total character. No, wait. Then April <laughs> oh, oh, yo, you're <laughs> That's just, that sounds like a personal character. <laughs> yes. yeah. she, she tried to, <laughs> though, in the very did. first movie, she, whenever they were inside her loft and that shit caught on fire. Oh, okay, yeah. She did co- yeah, try to call yeah. the police. But thing, she was they, calling they, the cops and the turtles at the fuck No, no. <laughs> but, the, but the fact is, she was calling police. That's like, true, that's, that's, that's the whole, you know. But I don't know, man. I just feel like... It was so frustrating to me because they're... Telling, like, they're trying to show these old parts of the movie, right? And you know how to describe it, like, the parts where, uh, hell, in general, really the only thing that makes me feel happy about that was Michelangelo just continuously right. on point as always. Yes, like, yes. He, yeah, he was, he, he, he full was of good. Wit. Yeah. Yeah, but. Well, walking out that skateboard, like the original, like, all the time, yeah. skateboard. Everywhere you go, skateboard, skateboard. Even when they're fighting, skateboarding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, was, awesome. that was great. Yeah. But, I don't know, it's just. The way that they try to mesh it, like you could have, the story just. Oh okay, God. wait. Talking about Michelangelo, though, I gotta. Why was there a hook on the top of the trailer of that semi? Why it was Perfect. just there to catch him? There is no reason for that other than plot <laughs> device. No, other no, than no, plot there's device. Tra- there's, I mean, if, if they, you put storage, traveling, food or whatever, fucking yeah. grain or whatever, <laughs> part of my language, but it you, it can have it. It's possible. Stop t- hating on the Ninja Turtles, bro. <laughs> it's the Ninja Turtles. All right, so, okay, I, was, I do want to bring up something that, that, that I did take notes, guys, because I, I, I left my notes in there. All right, um, but the, after a while, the beginning opening credits were really cool, right? Like, so oh, yeah. really cool. And then it turned into Fruit Ninja somehow. <laughs> what the hell happened there? <laughs> <They're> slicing <laughs> up like <laughs> so I, I woke when I just started going pineapples. Okay, <laughs> did, anyone, did anyone think that that VHS was a VHS of the original Ninja Turtles that they were smashing? Because that's what I thought it when I saw it. It could have been. <laughs> it, 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 to you, it, forever will be. You know what? <laughs> that was foreshadowing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we're so done with this age. It took 30 minutes for us to see the Ninja Turtles. That was yeah, frustrating. I, mean, that I was like, okay, April. Let's face it. Like, can, we, can, can we a minute? Let's, yeah. There's two things that we need to learn from this movie is that Megan Fox is still hot. That's fact. I don't care what anyone she's says. She's good. hot. She's, she's uh, still right. Second thing is if you're rude and you want to be cool, you have to have a toothpick in. Yeah. True. Yeah. And we also learned to Raphael make- always had a toothpick. <laughs> Why was he? He was. I never saw him eat. Raphael's basically Clint ate, Eastwood. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. He always had a toothpick. One thing uh, you learned about April O'Neil also in the beginning of the movie, she cannot ride a bike with the crap. She has no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I really she didn't just make a box that, that, that band was behind her like moving yeah. another yeah. 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 It's not me, it's her. <laughs> She's obviously not from New York though. Yeah. Like, On top yeah. of that, Megan Fox looked retarded in that helmet, by the way. Yeah, she looked bad in that helmet. She had yeah. like they had to do stuff. Hello Kitty stickers yeah, and whatever. They had to do glitter to stuff. Yeah. Sort of normal. I mean, this uh, Foot Clan though was kind of cool. I guess it's not the original Foot Clan, but they had the they're like new mercenaries. Yeah, yeah, it's all militant now. That was yeah. kind of that was kind of neat. I mean, yeah. that kind of definitely did bring the foot. That was, excitement that was real foot neat. Clan. Okay, <laughs> it was real neat so real neat why, why why was Shredder's face all fucked up? See, that's this is another. Why do we see Shredder's face? No, in the first here's the part. thing though. Like this is where I was coming to earlier with the going from the old and the new and trying to make it together. His face originally got fucked up from Splinter, correct? Yeah, throw him in the yeah. dumps or the the. the 
Trash no, thing no. In the beginning, whenever he first oh, meets Splinter, because yeah, 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 of his old, yeah, like, you know, uh, Sp yeah. Splinter should have definitely pit, learned ninjutsu already, already from his old master. Oh, that's already. Oh, we need to talk about that. <laughs> like, yeah. Splinter taught himself <laughs> ninjutsu. Karate. karate. <laughs> Who throws away ninjutsu well, uh, books? He taught himself karate and then taught it to it, his it's, mutant It's sons not karate, it's that ninjutsu. Were given <laughs> the mutant ooze yeah, or the whatever at the mutation. same time as him. So why did he grow up faster than that? Because well, I think he I think was supposed to be an adult rat, them. and they were baby turtles. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Here's the thing: how can oh, they no, learn how? No, to... that's exactly right. He's an adult. Rat. <laughs> he's an adult rat. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's fine. That's why they're. That's why he's older than them. That still. Yeah. So I mean, how much older was he than than them? Well, let's say okay. Let's just Way older. Was, than yeah. yeah. They're I mean, baby so turtles. This they is were... like a, uh, a rat on his deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> this rat was about to die. Oh, <laughs> so, so they wanted to go from two, two different spectrums. <laughs> that's what the, that's, the why, mutagen. Why, why, why does Peter always look like he's about to die? What I'm trying to get. Uh, at. Say, why does he always well, look they like? Had to, that's that's a relate like, to the old movie though. He, uh, I know. Yeah, okay. that's, like that's, that's just a personal issue yeah. with the Ninja Turtles that I need to get over. That's like why did Peter had a Fu Manchu man. Well, the thing is, thinking about the the him. Learning, teach, learning new jitsu by himself and teaching them in enough time that's ridiculous. to what you think it's about, what, like 13, 15 years later, give he or take, right? Master. If he was his own master. If that, you know, we'll say 16. They're teenagers. And 13. they mastered an art, an art form that takes a lifetime to master. But they like, grasp very fast. Yeah, yeah they, they explain that so the fast. They, yeah. they, that's, that is something it's they It's that say. mutagen that's in their, yeah, their blood that helps them learn things. I don't know. First of all, we, <laughs> really, we <laughs> all got to get our hands on some of this ooze. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be a ninja. Well, there's a question, what animal, though? If we're going to go by old standards, what well, I mean, animal... They originally were going to do a rabbit. You guys are so <laughs> closed-minded. If you were to switch it around, <laughs> if you were to kill me, if you were to switch it around and put a bunch of kids here right now and show them the first one, they would be like, so this rat was in a cage <laughs> and this guy was doing karate and this guy, this that, rat, like, that's ridiculous. This, this rat learned karate from this guy outside of him. <laughs> hey. He learned it. Perfect and then he's, it, and he's, it. he's not even, he's not even big that. yet. He's actually a regular rat because he's actually a normal rat. <laughs> And he learns karate but in a cage. He's, he's from Japan. He's not even a mutant yet. He's a Japanese. He's just yeah. a Japanese yeah. rat. In this one, he's an American and, rat who teaches and, himself. And, and I mean, he becomes it, Japanese. You guys don't like, understand that just because you were kids, what actually happened in this movie makes more sense than what happened. <laughs> no, no, right. not at all. Okay, no, you're absolutely right. It does. Then how, absolutely okay, right. okay, Splinter you're 1 about a was speaking... Rat. Speak in the beginning. Learning, of, learning. No, okay, that part. So I'm just talking. He's trying about, to say what's more logic. I'm saying for real. I think a, a rat that learned from his sensei, obviously. <laughs> every, 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 every student needs a teacher. It, it, exactly. Movie, every student needs a in teacher. The, in the original movie, yeah. he learns. Uh, he learns kung fu or whatever. He learns it the art of while mimic. he's while he's a normal rat. Yeah. While yeah. he's before just he, like shredded cut off part of his ear, man. Before like, he gets precise. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, right? Before the mutagen. <laughs> hey, he gets in the hey, mutagen. You go, guys don't understand. Go, go, it's okay, a regular but, rat. Okay, but in, in the new movie, It's though. a regular rat that learns like, karate. <laughs> Explain this though. We, we, there's no way. You guys are killing me. There's no way we can be sure if any single animal is around that much cold oh, like 24 seconds. I didn't even ask. We haven't tested that. Grandma's boy. Learned. They taught a Your monkey how to do. Wait, wait. Am I well. hearing? Are we buying a rat and teaching it ninjutsu? Uh, is, is that I, what I'm I hearing? Believe that is correct. Bring, bring a rat here. Let's just teach it anything. Let's just teach it. Let's just engulf it around how to do the dishes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're just gonna we'll bring a rat in here. We'll do the dishes yes, for yes. for 15 years. Totally yeah. And then let's see if the rat knows how to do yeah, dishes. Yes. I bet you it would. I bet you it doesn't. Know how to do <laughs> okay. The other thing that gets me is why is he have an accent after the beginning of the movie? Well, I think he so, speaks I English. English. I wanna, I and wanna, then he has a hardcore job. Like he looks. I want to get that. I want to bring that up. Thing. I noticed that same thing. I think he just really, like you know like anybody gets in, like in the lifestyle like you know somebody gets too. vegan and they're all like gonna go to yeah, the hotel yeah, get yeah. like buy a Miata and all that stuff. The thing <laughs> is. He just gets really in the lifestyle, man. So he's like, I love this whole Japanese he's thing. That, he's that you one know? old white guy in Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Long hair, yeah. beard, white beard. So Speed up. But you, you, you know, I, see I think I might be able to explain what y'all are talking about, though. So <laughs> if they turned into part human because they were handled by humans, right? So yeah. you have the cross of the two DNAs. So you could suppose that the rat was touched by the adults more than the little girl, okay. right? Okay. And if, and if the shredder touched him the most... 
then he could then he would have Japanese DNA in him. Yes. Well, Shredder didn't touch him. The but other we don't guy. No. 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 The, we do know because they said he's, uh, he's giving hypotheticals. Here. But Sax though was the one that did. But the you don't know what's going on. But in the lab who with also grew, grew up in Japan, yeah. which was. All lame, by the way. And I'm saying but he was interested. And those, those <laughs> marks on his face could have been from when the place got set on fire, when stuff was exploding anything. all over the place. Anything, anything could have happened with Shredder. Right, right. right. That's true. But you know, like the thing is, but Shredder, like we shouldn't see his face. I shouldn't see his face. I agree, that's, that's, true. that's true. Why shouldn't we see his face? Because you that's, just don't see his just face. Because we didn't see his face when we were little. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Wilson like, like, from Home Improvement attacking me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like making a remake of Home Improvement and showing Wilson's face all the time. You just don't do it. That's just science, right here. You, but you bring up sex and grew up in Japanese. How does this guy grew up in Japan? Grew up, right? Understand Japanese, but cannot speak Japanese. <laughs> he's like, it's like you're saying, oh, we're just kind of helping us out for you know people around him. No, no, no. He was one on one. No one said Shredder. there weren't going to be plot holes. <laughs> <laughs> I said from the jump. Also, like, why why would you go into it not thinking you got you got <laughs> low expectations and just enjoy the ride. <laughs> Why was that Except guy? The ride not started Baxter, so slow. whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, uh, Baxter Stark. Stark Stockwell. I'm, Baxter Stockman. Stock, Stockman. Yeah, is yeah, that yeah. it? The, the one that made the, the ratters or whatever. Yeah, it's a flaw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why, why, why wasn't he? What they could have used his name? He's a scientist. It's like the perfect character for him, and they make up some random person to take the place. I don't like. I agree. They have a perfect. In the in the cartoons, in like the very first couple of episodes, the Shredder hires on a scientist a to try movie. and hunt the turtles down with the his little rat catching devices, yeah. and then be, gets turned into a fly later on with the mutagen. But the point is, is, you have a scientist character who works for Shredder in the canon. He could have easily been that name, and you just tweak him a little bit, and it would it would work. That is correct. I got I got important breaking news right here. This is just in um, movie just released. It's official. It's up three more percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, <laughs> it's officially guys, at forty-three. It's, it's rising. It's at forty-three percent right now. It's, it's because of Michelangelo. Yeah. That's why. Yes, exactly. Now, I won't. I won't lie. But like people like it. Oh, easily. He saw that movie. Easily. Uh, he was great in that movie. Um, the one thing I didn't notice too, like you remember that? Remember when this whole movie was coming out and we we're kind of just talking about it around and. and they had mentioned it, Michael Bay had mentioned it, that, that he was going to change the whole plot of the movie, them not being Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. They were going to be aliens. And then there was a big outcry of fans. Uh, who, who, like, uh, like some, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure death threats yeah, are sent to yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, about not people. doing this, don't yeah, do this. I, but you that. notice that in the script, they wrote a nod to it. Because whenever... Uh, uh, yeah, Will yeah, Arnett said yeah, like, one of the yeah, aliens, yeah, of and she goes, no, no that'd be stupid. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I thought that he just leaked that it was going to be that. I, I thought that that wasn't really what he was going to do. I think he just. I feel like he just put it out so people would. If people thought it was cool, he, he would have done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think that. But I think that uh, yeah. Michael Bay gets he gets so much heat off of Transformers this, Transformers that, all the stuff he does. That. <laughs> You're trying to see what's up. So many explosions. So many. There was a lot of, you know, Michael Bay. Explosions. Slow motions and explosions in this, movie, even though he did not direct it, but um, still produced. Yeah, still behind the scenes. He he wrote the check. He he would come on set and be like, "There aren't enough explosions. Just pull a big old wad of money up. Do it. Give me more explosions. (laughs) Let's blow up New York. This is a great scene. Slow this scene. I have a scene on here, but can I bring it down about twenty percent? Yeah, that'd be great. You see this three minute scene? Make it fifteen minutes. (laughs) <laughs> well, thank God there weren't the number of slow mos this time. They they kept it to a minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. Like there were a lot of explosions and stuff, but I slow-mos would love to see the Ninja Turtles in like a slow motion. A lot I think more. some of the coolest scenes in Ninja Turtles were when it would go back and forth, and even them interacting with the you know the the live the yeah, actors. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. The that that seemed pretty cool to me. Um, but when it, when it was just and the turtles weren't involved. Or, if the, or even sometimes when the turtles were just by themselves, it just went on. It was yeah, like, it, 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 it didn't suck me in. I was just like, oh, next scene, next scene, yeah, yeah. next scene. Like, I feel like Will Arnett was pointless in this movie. Well, I did not, I don't even know his, his name. His dialogue seems so tacked on. Like, the point, he's he, gonna he die. Was, yeah, no shit, he's getting the crap kicked out of him. Let's he talk was the about comedic the relief more. for the humans. But he yeah. wasn't but, funny. <laughs> I, I think he said what he was told to say. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's like they definitely so put him on there just for his popularity and you know, the shows and stuff. But I don't know, man. I don't think uh, 
I don't want to bring up any more plot holes because I had a lot of them. <laughs> Those notes are pretty much full of plot holes. I mean, yeah. it was Bluetooth 20 years ago. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> 90 <laughs> but I, 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 like, I want to do say that the turtles looked badass. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. I mean, for, you can tell CGI, sure, but just the, the pure design of them it works. was great. I mean, I don't know. I think Splinter looked pretty fucking real. He looks cool. Like when he was fighting Shredder and, when and he was April's dying, trying to help him, he's when, laying there. He looked super real to me. That was like the dying, best they did. Yeah. And, and yeah. They, they zoom in on yeah. him and everything. Yeah. His eyes creep me that out though. I'm gonna have nightmares about those giant black eyes. But, Sweet yeah. Jesus. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> favorite scene. Uh, probably the Splinter Shredder fight, the first one when they're underground. The first one. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, I like it when they fought Shredder. Like when, he, when they, he was beating him up on the roof. At the end? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'd probably have to say uh, Sewer Fight. Sewer Fight. Before Shredder, though. Whenever the Foot Clan first started coming was, in, and you see the turtles. It was, like, it was almost like militant, right? Yeah. yeah. It was kind of cool. Like, you know, explosions, yeah. like implosions. I do like how Splinter like, heard the beeping of the bomb on the other side of the wall. Rat, it was like, rats, rat. yeah, they, rats have great ears, man. Favorite scene? Did uh, you have a favorite scene? Yeah, did you? I, 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 I might have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I might have. I'm deciding I don't still. Know. I'm still, still thinking about it. I'm deciding. I'm gonna run. It's rough, 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 See, let, let's don't. Let's let's make one thing perfectly clear. The movie did suck. I'm trying to find something positive out of it. But I did like. Uh, but it was also awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what? And because it was kind of a nice throwback, and it felt like. My turtles and I'm sorry if it wasn't supposed to be that. Yeah. I'm saying, but the scene when they when he was trying to find Splinter was trying to find out what the, where they were, and they have he has them all messed up. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was great. Felt it was that kind was of a fun great. scene. That was great. Yeah. They were sneaking it was, in. He was light. Yeah, it was light, and then he's got on chairs and. I loved every scene Michelangelo was pizza. in. Oh, nine nine <laughs> I, I, cool, did, I, I did like that joke when he says that one cheese. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Michelangelo. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was it was pretty good. That was, I mean, they, that was a good scene. They definitely got the turtles' personality down. Yes, and that made me. Oh, happy. The, like, oh, I, how, how have we not addressed the hearing Johnny Knoxville as Leonardo? Weird, felt weird. Don't think like I got comfortable with the entire I, movie. I, 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 I think he had I the least yeah, dialogue out of all of them, yeah, though. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah he did. Much. But every time I heard him, I was like, where? Is, yeah, Where's the shopping cart? Is he gonna? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> it's one stop in the, is this really yeah, an episode yeah, of Jackass? Yeah. yeah, I bet if they do a sequel, I bet he's not. I bet he's not the voice. Yeah. I bet he's not in the voice. Are yeah. they gonna do a sequel? For yeah. sure, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. I feel absolutely like they, they set it up to do one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. super they shredder. They did. The the ooze ooze on his so, it was even just the way that the the pace of it moved. It reminded me of how Transformers was. Because everybody's oh yeah, everybody's talking yes. about how like it yeah. took them thirty minutes to, to get see the turtle. It's the same thing with yeah. Transformers, yeah. and it's just because another that's Michael how they Bay movie. That's how like it's because what what do we say about these movies? It's about one thing. It's not about explosion story or anything. It's, it's about making money. About making money. In these movies. And what they yeah, do is they, they give you just enough, and yeah. they give like, okay, they're gonna fight, they're gonna do this. They're but, gonna watch, but yeah, they'll watch the next. So yeah. basically, you're saying they don't want to give too good a story so that they have something to do the next time. Yeah, I was gonna say like the reason why you won't have your Baxter Stockman in it is because he'll be in the next, next one. Because okay. because we wanted them this time. Or yeah. Casey Jones. Or Casey Jones. Jones. They won't Jones. Since it was Casey Jones, Jones. Jones. Jones this time. We were gonna watch it regardless. Yeah. And now but here's the thing though: Sax didn't die in this movie. He's still alive. He's just knocked, knocked out. out. Yeah, yeah. Just knocked like out. they're not. I don't think they're bringing back anything that we expected because I really thought in the beginning they could write him like, out. So he, like they were, jail. they weren't allowed. To I just wrote him out. Yeah, I wrote him out. Like, yeah. Well, I think they might do like a, yeah, kill by a Toka foot. and Razor type thing yeah. because when she pulled the thing, there was still some ooze yeah. in the tube, so no, they have a little yeah. bit left. Yeah. And he made the it's reference definitely. they were going to use rabbits, yeah. and there was actually a mutant rabbit near the end of the cartoon series. There was also a panda and a frog and shit too. But I think that was a reference Rock that they're going to they're gonna make more. Or Rocksteady and Bebop, Rock too. Yeah. But the That's point is, right. I think I the next movie, Rock there's going to be if other they make mutant Rock animals. Rocksteady and Bebop. That would be badass. Be they, awesome. they can have my money. Better. They can have my money. <laughs> Michael fun. Bay, you win again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have, you better have a mohawk. Yeah, right. Michael, yeah. Michael Bay owes me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. getting to this point. I, uh, I will tell you this, that, that the, and the money-making... Aspect of this, of this whole thing, it's not going to be a sequel. They're going to do a trilogy if they're not going to. Oh yeah, oh, for they sure. push oh, Transformers absolutely. into four movies right yeah, now, yeah, and, yeah. and looking like they're going to go into five and six. Yeah, yeah. Like they're going to do two trilogies yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah. So, 
God knows how. how Three long. movies of Marky Mark. As long as the and as the funky as, bunch. I mean, that's fine. How much can you squeeze a, a dime? That's. I mean, yeah. that's how it is. <laughs> Okay, this has nothing to do with the movie, but this was the pre-movie stuff that we watched, and they were doing a bunch of the retro stuff. Yes, and they had that Oprah Winfrey thing, and right. they they talked they talked about how they got started with the cartoon, and I almost threw something at the screen because not only is it weird that the initials were on Oprah Winfrey, that's strange enough, and awesome though, <laughs> classic Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that they're gonna these dudes aren't even gonna talk about like their own history, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it started with a comic book that well, ran for almost well, three years they before were, the cartoon started. They were selling the Broadway show. That's yeah. all they were selling. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're not selling yeah. comic books. Yeah. They, were, they were selling... Whatever. I'm a nerd, and that's bad history. It is. It is. Agreed. Especially in that, in that, that time uh, in the world. Like, like comic book movies, it, 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 took, it took until, like, what movie was it? Like, shit, maybe Spider-Man, to where you start getting really people who... Or involved in comic books to help write comic book movies. Yeah. Yeah. It was such a, just a distinct world, two different worlds. Like Tim Burton should have written Batman. Go watch that movie again, guys. Mm-hmm. It should have been someone that knows comic books. Yeah. Because yeah. and that's so. So when you're saying that, of course you're not going to bring up comic books because comic books were so still taboo back then. They were for the hardcore nerds, and that's who it was. Now the world's it's good to have you nerds here. Man. <laughs> well, good to have you nerds. Also, too, with it being we're open, the cartoon or the comic book was way darker. Oh yeah. So you don't want to bring up something that these little kids might go read and then have to. Ask their parents tough questions. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, this is side note too, um, um, but watching the movie, um, seeing all the scenes and everything, and and even you know watching the previews, what what's the age? How old does a child need to be to go see this movie? Was there I even mean, any cursing in it? Really. No, turtles cuss a couple times. But yeah, the thing about also Did now, they, though, like, I'm okay, to think how many parents? Like, don't want their kids to see guns, but yet yeah, they still yeah. let them play the Call of Duty oh, and shit like that. You know? So I'd say literally six and up. Six, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that easy. sounds about right. It was, it was real. What I'm trying to get at is well, because the original ones were PG. It, it was right. really kiddie. Yeah, it oh, was yeah. really kiddie. And if you go back, I mean, granted, it is Nickelodeon movie. If you go back and look at the old Ninja Turtles, even now as grown men. You're, I'm still entertained, but but I'm saying it wasn't as kitty. No, no it was it dark. It had a lot of. There was, it was, it was pretty, dude. Yeah, the dark. first one's kind of dark when you think Raphael's I mean, gonna die. Yeah. And even the third one, like, and you're like, fuck. Man, even this the is third, third teenagers one, on their real own. Ch- super cheesy, and so many kitty jokes when they're in Japan. Yeah, I mean, they're still like real there's a, yeah, there's some, aspects uh, of that stuff. Adult, there's like, a lot of virtues to those old movies, though. You know, like here, it's all about. The Old action movies. and the expression. Like but then, they, it was like family and like be this, and it wasn't like that towards the end of the movie. And they summed that up in like five the minutes. The thing is, is they can The reason why it was dark is because you needed an you needed an element to it to make it to make it suspenseful because. The turtles couldn't do much because it was dudes in suits. Yeah. It was dudes in suits. So yeah. you needed another element that that could hold the movie. That's absolutely true. Movie. That's absolutely yeah. right because you look at those movies; those are very un ninja. Yeah, they're. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, do I don't know. <laughs> that second one, those guys are doing backflips yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. See the, you break look, at the, look at the yeah. fighting. <laughs> what look you know look about at that? the fighting in those movies, man. It's not like. I mean, I'll say it again: breakdance fighting. Yeah. Vanilla Ice Ninja Rap. Anybody else? But you're right. It's like the Batman. No, that's absolutely. That's a hundred percent. Why the movie was the way it was, yeah. was back then. Yeah. So they is that, that kind of like Star Wars exactly. syndrome? They, they couldn't do as good ninja stuff, so they had to do a better story. They would have done that. <laughs> what? Huh? The Star Wars syndrome. It's they didn't couldn't do as good ninja. The effects weren't as good, so they had to bolster it with a good story. It's exactly. like the old Star Wars movies. He couldn't do the visual effects he wanted, so he wrote a badass story. Then he makes three new ones and craps all over it because he had the effects he wanted. I mean, it's yeah. just yeah. Story, yeah. it's a. I mean, it's. So one plus one thing, equals basically. two thing, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just, that's just how it's it cut is. and dry. Maybe yeah, we watch the perfect movie, but I think our heads might explode. <laughs> and we'll be out of a job. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, I, I could give it a two and I hate it on it, but, and maybe it is a little bit because of that, but I think, like, I still I expect some substance coming out of something that that even it's just a movie. Well, you want to expect, yeah, you want to uh, expect some substance out of ever even a, it, it don't a little t- kitty. Don't movie. tell me the kitty movie. Don't say that. Yeah, that the last Mimsy was probably one of the best kitty movies I've seen in a long time. That's a great fucking movie. I, I've never seen it. Oh my you god, do yourself a favor. Oh, dude, so that's good. Awesome. You know, like like they. Are we the seriously talking about the last <laughs> Mimsy right now? Like, <laughs> that's how bad that this movie it's was. We're talking about the last Mimsy. That's, that's, that's but, just ridiculous. No, well, <laughs> shame on you. I think what made me kitty mad movies, though. Kitty movies are kids can can deal with story too. Yeah. And so just saying off the kitty movies is not gonna be a good story. 
I think it's kind of that's kind of a cop no, out. But I think no, I think that. Well, I just think it's. I just think it's different because the substance in there, like, because if I was a parent, if I was a parent, I was taking my kid to it. And if I, especially if I had two two kids and I had one that was older and one that was bigger, I think that the the the. He said if I had one that was older and one that was yeah. bigger. Yeah, yeah so, I'm saying so like if you had like a fat. No, 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 no. I'm saying like <laughs> of, had, like, of like, like, men? like a, a Benjamin like, Button type okay, of kid like, yeah, or something. Like I'm saying the relationship between Raphael and Leonardo. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I, I got you. There's a there's a in our society now like bullying's a big deal. Yeah, yeah I you got have you. all these different things and come, come people, learn a life people, lesson. People, yeah, mm-hmm. I just think that it's it's. A, I think that the substance that they had was Raphael's. Thing he, he's super hard on his brother because that's what the and kids that, were watching. What, the and that's what kids do. Kids yeah. are like Wait, that. That's, that's not we're just not that, like though. that. But I'm saying kids are really like that. And I think they're the way they were saying the substance. He that, that little speech that he has at the end to us is super cheesy. But like to parents, it's like. Yeah, yeah, listen, well, yeah. That's it. listen that's, to what he's that's saying. Well, because, at the end, though, that made sense because I, that's what his, his yeah, character no was. Though, yeah. he was always hard on them, like in everything. He, like that's that's what got me mad about them bringing old stuff and trying to revamp it to new stuff. Was he was a loner in the beginning movie, like one of the movies we saw. Like he yeah. always gave him hell. He always disobeyed uh, Splinter. He yeah. was always alone with some person. So like that entire speech was like he's that cool made but sense rude, to me. man. Like it, it made perfect sense. Like if you didn't see the turtles before, that little monologue he had would make no sense at all. Yeah, yeah like him know? meeting Casey Jones. He goes in the surface in the trench Where coat was and watches a movie yeah. and stuff. Like we he goes by himself. Done. Yeah. So Mr. Bay, yeah. Mr. Bay decided we weren't ready for Casey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just think infinite like, wisdom. Infinite it, wisdom. It, it is the infinite wisdom. I'll never movie. understand. I <laughs> thought. I thought the one dude. Whatever his name is, Arnett or whatever, I thought he was going to be Casey Jones. I thought they was going to tack him in as that and be like, oh, look, look, he likes they sports. Some, they can get somebody, they can get somebody cooler. Some, 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 some Channing Tatum. Yeah, some, somebody it's like going to be that. a Casey Jones. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be Joseph Gordon Levy. That's who it is. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's the new Casey Jones. But, right? but, like, but he's, like, he's like a sports announcer guy. He never puts it on and then, like, they find out on the at, the, at, the end, at the end of the trilogy, they find out his middle name is, is like his first name is like Todd Jones. <laughs> but his middle name is Casey, Casey. the entire time, yeah. and then it just goes to credits. He finds the turtles. That's brilliant. Did we just write? <laughs> <Ninja Turtles 2? laughs> You're welcome, just Michael wrote, Bay. We'll expect percentages just out of this. Ninja Turtles too. No, I don't know. Well, I, we're, no, we, we can't do that. We gotta let DC and Michael Bay fight over us. Right? Yeah, I mean, let's let's, let's figure <laughs> out. I'll take both offers. <laughs> Who wants this? I don't know. I just think that the people that made this movie were from our generation. Why couldn't you try to keep a little bit more consistent? Because they weren't making it for us. They weren't making it. I know, but still, you can relate the stuff of now, the way they did this movie, and still incorporate the story from then. I don't, See, I don't with, think so. But I think with, it would have been. I think it would have been easy. With that said, and 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 taking out of the possibility because you had a valid point yeah. uh, of of the the fact that they're not making the movie for us, mm. they weren't. So all in all, taking all that away and taking all those arguments out of my head about that. I still find the movie lacking because I want to see some more. I think I think we're I think the public in general should see more of it, more something more. Give yeah. give me more, yeah, give me more I, development. Okay. Yeah, you know we talked about in Guardians of the Galaxy pod. We talked about development, and there wasn't strong development of the characters. Well, of course not. Yeah. I don't think. But, but I think if we would, I think if you would have saw more development, we would have said it was slow. It yeah, like, well, we, it was we slow. Set up here, yeah, we would have been slow. It would have been, been Transformers: Age of Extinction. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. We would have said it was no, slow. but the thing the thing with what's different from Guardians of the Galaxy in this one is that it's not there bad. wasn't a backstory. You didn't need as much of a backstory for the Ninja Turtles because there already been movies made. Yeah. They've been a hit TV show, a hit show on Broadway. They've been ever. I mean, they took the country and the world by storm for a while. Yeah, they didn't so even set Guardians of Galaxy never did that, so that's why you kind of needed. Yeah, right, 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 they right. didn't even set up. They didn't even set up the Foot Clan or anything in the beginning. They were just like, hey, look, man. Uh, the hey, guys, the Foot Clan's out there. Shredder's out there. Watch out. Yeah, they, that, they, they I mean, watch out. But they, they because wanna... because because uh, it had that much clout already. But with that. It had a little more expectations as but well. But it still right? comes back to my right. story. Yeah. It had so much potential. Like, so yeah, much. I think this could have been defense. great. Let, 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 we, we haven't even discussed how great this could have been yet. I don't, yeah. I, well, and I think that's well, the thing is I think they have a possibility for the second movie to be exactly. way it doesn't matter. It's ruined. better. It's ruined. The, the trilogy is ruined. It's not. It's going to be great. It it, no, ruined like to be like something great, like an amazing movie, a great series, like. I'm saying it could have been 
Like, I, I don't know. Like, I like it could have been like Dark Knight series, <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think, and this is, and this is what I think, and I think that it's because of the Dark Knight. I think that it is warped people into thinking that these types of movies are gonna have this. This can they have the possibility to have this great plot, great story? When we just need to give those movies the credit that they have. Batman is a better story. Yeah, yeah, it's it a is. better story. I think it, I don't think it so. Yeah, story. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think story. I think, I think, that, I think that's yeah. running away from the problem. I think oh, the yeah. problem could be like a little stronger yeah. writing, and this could be a great story. Yeah, Agreed. it could be. A, it can make it that epic story. I mean, like a little more, like putting a little effort in the writing. Using a little less of your budget on effects yeah. and hiring a better writer could make it a great yeah. story. What doesn't get? What I don't understand is okay. I have a little cousin. He watches the Ninja Turtles and stuff now. No. Even in those shows, they tell the correct way of how the, stir- the turtle started. No. This movie just said screw what everything else has yeah. been going on for the past twenty five years. Unless it, like it's, I know you're saying it's made for the kids. My cousin's well, five, well, and he no, understands the true is, story of Ninja Turtles. Well, I'm saying that every the new movies that do that, they do that anyway. Like the new Star Trek that's out, they completely change the entire story. Yeah, yeah. it's true. They completely that's, that's, do it. Yeah, that's what they right. do. But Why they, would they give us the same story? We saw it already. You're absolutely right. But the, Why would but they I'm do just that? But, but in Star Trek's defense, they gave us a different timeline. Yeah, they actually. Well, yes. Yeah. If every movie could go back in time and then erase it, X Men, X Men's doing it now. Yeah. And it's really good slam, by the way. But, yeah. but Shredder Not succeeding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the Shredder in this movie, he's he's so one dimensional. You see him beat one guy up while he's tied up, which was stupid. Which and then he's like, ass. boom, and pops out of him like he's super strong, which is weird as crap. And then the whole rest of the time, he's a robot and he doesn't really talk. Like, there's no super development strong, whatsoever. That's Shredder, bro. That's I but no, in the Shredder other movies, was one of the best parts of the movie. To me. In the other movies, he you see he's a badass. He's training the people kicking ass. Yeah. Like they fear him. He he's more, in the he's in the background the whole time. He's barely what, even in the movie. This is what I assume though. And he's Shredder, supposed to be the bad guy. Okay, yeah, Shredder yeah. at the end of the second one was super he was Shredder. A metal correct? Suit, no, but here's the thing. Nice. He was super Shredder. This guy now was the super Shredder. Nobody caught on to that. You think he, he had the scar. Yeah. From the fall of the pier, he uh, had the super shredder outfit with the crazy amount of no. I think, I think they're gonna make him. I think they'll make him bigger. I think they'll make. Him but crazy. that's what they just did, though. Like, no, they saying, no, but I think what he's no, saying I'm is saying, they're, so, gonna, they're whoa, gonna up whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. He's gonna, gonna get big. I, yeah. I think. I think, I think yeah. what Gordon's saying is there's a chance for a, a super, super duper duper <laughs> super duper shredder. Yeah, I just think like super robo shredder. Because even in the beginning they said we're adding more stuff to your armor. Your armor. Like okay, well they're obviously upgrading their shit out of there. Can so I, I was like, just upgraded shredder. The shredder armor, I thought I, I hated it. I thought oh, I thought it was god awful. I, the, I missed the, the classic just, shredder. I want that classic shredder little claw action, just the mask. Stop living. See, not best, saying man. it can do it now, but why do we need that? That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think though also in I the love movie it. throughout the entire movie they were okay. So that's stupid. Then it's about how the Swiss Army knife arms. <laughs> I was like I'm saying, like inside throughout the entire movie. They're laying out little small quotes like, hey, this is not going to be the same. Because they kept saying upgrade and like, oh, this is going to be a little bit different than this. You know, they let us know, hey, it's not going to be like you want it to be. Still, man, breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. It could have been great, though. It could have been. So so on, on those lines, what I'm saying is with as much background and interest people had in the Ninja Turtles across the world. I mean, just think, it, they're all about money. They could have made so much more than they're going to make mm-hmm. in, right now. If they added a little more grit, pitched it to a little older crowd, people who have the money to pay for the these tickets, yeah, and but still kept it, you know, somewhat light because it's their teenage tur- ninja turtles. But I'm saying, I'm not saying it's gonna be like. Win a, ever win an Oscar or something like that. I'm just saying, or ever even compete with the Dark Knight. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, it could have been so much better. It could have been <laughs> a, 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 you, a, you a guys, plus. It, I just think that that's not that is not what the go, what they're going for. They were going okay. For, so what was the goal? Yes. Fun. That was not fun. They that wanted I fun. But, but, okay, the first, no, I, the, I, first I, the first the first no. I guarantee there were kids in this theater. We didn't hear them once. No. The only part we that didn't they hear them was laugh once. They weren't oh. taking themselves seriously. You can't they, make... They, 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 they had a cash cow. We hadn't yeah. seen a Turtles movie in how many years? They had a cash cow. Put something out real quick. Yeah. Do it. 
I mean, if they were trying to make it fun, then all the whole scenes with April and Arrow, which was majority of the movie, was all about April and Arrow, would have been a lot funnier. I think the review. I think that yeah, if they were trying to make it fun, why would why would have been focused on April? Well, because I mean, that's that's just the connection. I think that people, because people Cause know Megan, cause even because kids know because they know because Transformers. They know, yeah, they know mm-hmm. Megan. They well, she know, was in Transformers. They know, so yeah. I mean, the same thing. Same thing. I mean, it was Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. There was no, you know, it was focused on Transformers during the during the TV show. They made it about a guy in Transformers. I mean, that's just what they. That's so, what they do. So okay, so that's another thing we need to bring up, um, because which was so evident is it just tried to be like. Transformers, little stepbrother. Yeah. Movie, right? yeah, I felt that. It, it just the, just the whole. Of course, you know, the whole team that made. Of course, it, with the obligatory the Megan Fox ass shot. Yep. And I really didn't see anything. I mean, I thought that shot. was fun. That was the best <laughs> part. I had fun during that part. <laughs> and again, I need to reiterate. Let's remember, Megan Fox is still hot. Yeah, it's fact. She doesn't look like a Lindsay Lohan. I mean, that's. <laughs> well, Lindsay Lohan's. Yeah, she's she's in bad shape. Yeah, she's a little rough around the edges now, guys. She's still is she is she still alive right now? <laughs> no, I think she might be the first zombie. Fun, fun alive, yeah. Yeah, alive. Fun alive. Fun alive. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like, so I so so hate it, not hate it. I hate it. You hate total hate, total hatred. I can't. I don't say. see myself ever watching that film, that movie again. Ever again? Wow. Ever again? Maybe it's on. Maybe it's on. Channel thirty nine. You watch <laughs> afternoon. You, you watch like Batman Forever and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah no, 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 no. You don't watch Batman Forever. I watch You're Batman Forever. He watches Batman <laughs> Forever every every night before he goes to bed. <laughs> the only two Blu rays I like the original Nibbles. Batman Batman series are Batman and Batman Returns. Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. I hardly ever watch. Chris O'Connell didn't really do a great job. Let's get real. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He's like he's, he's like forty. In that movie. Yeah. What about you? So, so would you're, you're, you wouldn't recommend it to anybody? No, no, no. I would, rec- no, I would recommend it to somebody. I would watch it again with you my don't little like. cousin yes. if I had to. Would you, Other than that, I mean, I'm not going to hate it completely, but I mean, Michelangelo definitely did make me not hate it completely. I was fine with it. That was good. Uh, yeah, I mean. It's not, the, it's not a great movie. This, this is the same man who loves Sharknado. Oh, yeah. well, now Which is says, great! I love yeah. that movie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's not no, a here nor there. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> See, that's not... Cause, because I love great movies, but I love... I love, I love the, 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 the great movies for because they're supposed to be great. I love action movies when they do what they say they're going to do and yeah. be action movies and be funny. So you like whatever. the escapist act, act, aspect I, well, of Well, I, I, like, I accept movies for what they are. I don't... Yeah. I don't like, critics... Like critics judge every movie because they, they it's got the acting, the story, the this, and this, and this. When a lot of movies, that's not their, of that's course. not their focus. Not there, and so yeah. like, I, I got to, what you're, their you're focus You're there to see. Was. Robots, I'm there to see what they're. You're there to see their, turtles. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, there yeah, to yeah, see yeah. stuff blow up. There is stuff like like there wasn't enough turtle fighting. There was a. But There's it, a like running. They, they, seriously, you think other? about it, no, just fighting things oh. in general. There were like four times. Yeah. But I just think that I just think other than that, they were getting hit or running. Or it's the something. same thing. If you, God, oh my gosh, if you guys go back and watch Transformers One, it's the same. No, there's exact not, I know. Oh, no, I totally do it. Yeah, there's, there's, that's how to do it. But, but I'm saying this wasn't Transformers One. No, In Transformers One, I enjoyed. Agreed. No, I'm not. And because it was one of the first ones made. Yeah, that's that style. That's, that's, that style. Like if it was, you know, I right, never um, seen anything. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. I wouldn't. Pay to go see it again in the theater, but when it's inevitably on the like six ninety nine Blu ray bin at Walmart, I'll I might buy it <laughs> just to add to the collection. Yeah, why not? I would almost see it again in theaters with a packed theater to see, to see like, the reaction, all their reactions yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, there was six people in the in the episode. Yeah, yeah talk about shocking. the difference between Guardian yeah. of the Galaxy and this. Guardian of the Galaxy was literally full to the seat. Shocking. There was maybe twenty other people with us oh, yeah. at this movie. Yeah, it was it was it was definitely a rough release. Gonna do nothing, but I, I guarantee you by the, by Monday they're gonna call it the number one. Okay, um, <laughs> okay. probably. La, la, <laughs> last uh, legit question: um, Is it gonna be better than Expendables three? I guess we find out that next, yeah. uh, next we'll week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Next week. Be I guess we find out that next week. So Ninja Turtles better than. The, then well, do y'all, do y'all know yeah. the, the base well, you know premise why? for Expendables 3 at all? No, you know why? I, what, what are you yeah. saying? Okay, I'm so from what, I, from what I understand is 
So now these are all, they're all aging mercenaries, yes. right? So apparently a bunch of their kids became mercenaries too, and yeah. then they were abducted by another mercenary group, and they have to go save, save their kids. Yeah. It's baby expendable. You guys I love understand. it. I'm gonna love oh that my god! You know, I love what a great plot! That's it's I mean, so bad. The reason why that's what's gonna make The reason why Ninja Turtles is gonna be better than <laughs> Expendables Three is because Expendables Three is made by and for people that are our age and people who are not our age think those guys are just old people. <laughs> and like, it's exactly right. And they're gonna do those action movies exactly how they do action movies that we love. And people are gonna be like. That's no, ridiculous. No. Why don't they just have? No, you're you're full of you're full of it. Um, freaking you're full. 14, 15 year old boys, sixteen teenage men, young men, or whatever, are going. Love scene stuff blow up. Yeah, no, I'm Girls saying and bikinis, it's not gonna be the same. Shooter stuff. Yeah, it's, they're gonna love uh, that movie. It's it, gonna be an expendable movie. Did Any you guys type. see Expendables too? Did you see how it did? Yes. Up, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. How it did as opposed to. Superhero movies that are around. That are, of that course, are, you're not. That, that's why it's not I'm going out with course. it. Of course, it's not going to compete with a superhero. But, well, we're, we're comparing it to the Ninja Turtles. Is it, I'm saying they're not superheroes. Oh. And so what? What I'm and I'm not saying I'm not speaking for the people. I don't care less what the people, what little kid, <laughs> whoever thinks about this movie. He actually I'm does. Telling, just let you know. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> because I'm, is that a short joke? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm speaking for me. Yeah. That's all we're speaking on. We're not. We're not talking about what everyone else is yeah. thinking. Well, we're whatever. speaking but to you. Why are we your microphones in? Who are we talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we talking to? To the people. Who are we talking to the people? <laughs> we're telling people what we but we're think. Not, we're, yeah, we're, we're not telling them what we think they think. <laughs> you lost me. Yeah. Did, I just, did, did I just blow, did I just blow my, <laughs> my mind? No, so, I so, mean, science. Yeah. But, but I think it would be a lot easier for Expendables 3 to be... Not a, by no means a better movie, but a lot easier movie. As you were saying, take a movie for what it is. A lot easier movie to to take as it is because we know we it's, know it's going to be bad. Now, Ninja Turtles, I had, I really genuinely. So you know what you're saying? Come. Our expectations are different. We expected <laughs> yes. more Ninja Turtles. We don't expect all that much. <laughs> 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 That's why Sharknado. It has the whole Sharknado vibe. Exactly. You know it's going to be bad. Sylvester Stallone wanted so to blow some more shit up, so he's like, "Hey, let's get all my buddies together, and we're going to do it together." I really want. I really wanted. Really, really wanted a good Ninja Turtle movie. I really wanted one. Yeah, I really did. I mean, I liked it. I was entertained. I, mean, I thought yeah. Michelangelo was hilarious. Yes. He, yes. He, yes. Favorite character Still. in the whole movie by far. By far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite turtle. And then favorite Raphael character. second, because he was pretty hard. That, so. I couldn't get over that toothpick. That drove me crooked. No. <laughs> I, like I like the line, oh, I like the line where voice. he said, I, I, my shell's cracked. Just take me up. Was that, was to, that was totally a boxing reference. Yeah, yeah, Just take yeah, yeah, me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That shows how much of a badass he is. Yeah. All right, well, we gave you a little sneak peek. Um, Expendables 3 coming up here on Spoiled. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Short as a woman. Uh, so, this is Spoiled for Paul Kelly. Brad. Gordon. Michael. Tim. And, yeah, those guys. <laughs> we're, we're a holler at you. Take it no. out. Hey, boy, all right.